Phenomenal. Celtic or... Wow, what a mix. <laughs> that must have taken you like a... Yeah, oh, wow. What's the made from? Tile. Tiles, mosaics, yeah, yeah. Pieces separate. That's, that requires a lot of patience. Yeah, and I, I, I did a, well, a mosque in... Um, and even though I was doing it very... The guy who was running the mosque, you know, he, he, he I only did about half of it. So I kind of... And also another mosque promised me some work. I, you know, I didn't find Muslims to be that interested. I mean, as they say, beauty is is an aspect of, of God. You know, God obviously creates, well, the universe, if you like. Oh, yes. I mean, this is really beautiful. For the Muslims, you know, they generally tend to, you know, just a few plastic crap, you know, with a sort of... Would you, would you say it's the Muslims you came across that are thinking like that, or would you think... There seems to be a hell of a lot of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I mean, might I know in well, they built amazing mosques in the Gulf. You should have been there. <laughs> you know, uh, astonishing, but they, you know, they've got. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be on that scale. You know, yeah. it should be just for ordinary. What's your name? Oh, Kenneth Ainsworth. Kenneth. Kenneth Ainsworth. Kenneth. That's my English name. Oh. Kenneth is a, is a nice name. Very, very traditional. It's Scottish. Do, do you have like social media that you post your stuff on or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I post my stuff on... Um, I, I, I do <laughs> Western art as well. I'm good at that as well. I mean... I mean... Um, Oh, well, that, that, actually, I should have but both of these. I mean, that's a piece I'm working on now. Is that Western? No, that's... That's what I was thinking. You know, I thought you were going to show me something Western. Oh, yeah, I'll, 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 well... So I'll go back to the... Um, <laughs> Like Western art, I mean, those are sort of portraits. Ah, portraits. Or what they call life drawing, which I don't think um, Muslims wouldn't find it very, you know, uh, renewed. I mean, that's traditional, you know, Western. And that's Western art for you, well, yeah. I went to art school. Right, and right. That's what you get every that's day. That's what you get, yeah. Well, yeah. So, um, but as I say, I got interested. So Kenneth, don't tell me I that. Got interested yeah. in Islamic art. Well, I, I, I went to the, um, you know, the Alhambra in yes. Spain. Have you ever been there? I unfortunately I'm yet to go there, but well, I've. It is truly amazing. I've heard, yeah. It's full of, um, full of this sort mosaic of mosaic art. You know, absolutely full of. It. I mean, it's probably the best. You know, I mean. I think because you're on the select tool, if you click back, if you just click that X, oh. yeah, now you can select it. Yeah, I, I mean, that's... You like those ones, yeah. Oh, I, I, you know, I've always done... Yeah, I mean, to you, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that I could do any art. Yeah. Or just, or, nice. <laughs> you know. So, so Kenneth, uh, you've travelled? Have you been to some of yeah, these yeah, countries? Yeah, I've travelled. To, um, well, Muslim countries, Turkey, Morocco, uh, America. Well, that's a Muslim country. Well, but I mean, Europe. it's worth mentioning, of course, Spain. America. Yeah. You know. So, being a man of much experience, I have so much respect. I mean, uh, I like to speak to people with experience to see what you've understood about life and about purpose. So, what have you? Uh, Understood. I can read the Quran in Arabic, by the way. No way. <laughs> Gone, Kenneth. Huh? Gone. Huh? Gone. Oh, what's going on there? Attacking me. Uh, from memory? A little bit. Oh, yeah. Just whatever comes to your head. Well, I'm all ears. Well, I, I, I learned it from 
It's flashing, bro. So, you know. How to learn to read? We should have one on the phone. I taught myself, actually. Oh, you taught yourself Arabic, yeah? Well, uh, reading and writing. But speaking, you know, you have to go and live, you don't have to go and live in an Arab country. Mm. For that. But as I say, I, I, I got disillusioned with um, Muslims. They were so... Because they don't like beauty. Well, the, most of the world is on there. Well, one thing, Kenneth, I would say, when it comes to just just looking up and just looking at the clouds, looking at the trees, yeah, acknowledging so, that there is a God. Yeah, yes, it seems to be. But I, there could be many gods. But the thing, just before we get on to that, Kenneth, I would say don't let these Muslims that you've come across take that away from you. Just like um, a vegetarian, if they see bad vegetarians, it's not going to take away from the fact that they don't want to hurt and harm animals because that's the principle, isn't it? So Muslims I would... Are not vegetarians. It's an example. I'm saying that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so just like if a person is studying Islam, don't let Muslims and the actions and behaviors of Muslims determine right and wrong, good and bad, you know, Quran, truth, scripture, prophets. I mean, speaking for myself, because I, I come from like a, a cultural Christian background, you know, so, and I find, well, both Islam and Christianity to me, kind of valid, but, you know, I know they argue about you know, well, the the the, the Christians, they believe they that well, they have a like a Trinitarian God, you know, three in one. Yeah. And the Muslims have, but that was even actually in early Christianity they had, what the Arians, but because the idea is that, well, according to the the Arians or the the Muslims, you know, God is first and then his son jesus or whatever is second but in christianity or, this is according to no it, the aryans okay. or, and the muslims or if you like yeah muslims don't believe that. no i know yeah. but they they they, they 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 kind of went for the sort of arian bishop arius yeah. he said well he's like you he said the god and then jesus and is is comes after so, you know, but the, the Christians say, well, they're orthodox, that the, all three of them come together. So they're one, you know, three but, parts. But Kenneth... Well, you know... Yeah, but Kenneth, the, the argument that the Quran puts forward is that if there were multiple gods, their wills would be conflicting. Well, no, yeah, but no, it's only the one god. It is three parts of the one god. But the, the Hindus have three, you know, they are all them there. Yeah, but be, so they are just like, um, what are they, jinn. They're, 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 they're sort of Hindu gods, because they have thousands of them. You know, but the three main gods, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, you know, they are the... The Trimurti, yeah. Like the Trinity, and it's kind of Trinity. Yeah. And, and, and the others are, I suppose, that Hinduism, they, 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 they worship jinn because they can do things. You know, some, some Muslims, you know, they, they, they have jinns that can do things for them. So, so Kenneth, as Muslims, we believe that there's one God. Yes, like Surah Ikhlas, Qul Hu Allah Wa Ahad. Do you know that one? Yeah. So, Qul Hu Allah Wa Ahad, say He is Allah. Exactly. So, that's, that's our def definition of God that you agree with, yes. isn't it? But, uh, there could be three parts, like, could they? Okay, 
Okay, let's... Could be, let's, I, I mean... No, this is a, it's an interesting point. What do you think there needs to be three parts? If we believe God is all-powerful, all-intelligent, all-merciful, does God need to have multiple parts? Does he need to come to earth as a human being? What do you think about that well, that's, necessity? That's symbolic. You know, but they don't believe Jesus is symbolic, the though. Thing about, the thing about monotheism compared to Eastern religions like Buddhism, Taoism, Hinduism, they, 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 they're prepared to kill people who differ from them. And the Christians and the Muslims have fought religious wars. You know, I mean, in Europe, it's, if you know the history of Europe, the Thirty Years' War in the 17th century. You know, I mean, you can say the same. Uh, I mean, you're... Hindus and Buddhists and Taoists, they never fight. They, you know, they don't care what... Um... The Hindus don't care. I mean, what about the Mahabharata? That's, that, that book is about a war yeah, but it's of not Arjuna. A war. It's not a religious... You know, but, it's, but, to... but God is involved in that war. He's encouraging... Well, God's involved, you know, well... Uh, no! Let me give you an example. I've God... never read that. Yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with that. That's why... You're from Pakistan, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, in the Mahabharata, God, an avatar of Vishnu, comes down and he actually encourages the main hero, I think Arjuna, yeah, 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 Bhagavad, yeah, yeah. To, to, to fight. He actually doesn't want to because his family is on the other side and he <laughs> says, no, the, you know, the, 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 the good must prevail. So when the sensual text of Hinduism is what is about a war and the other one, Ramayan, that one's about a war as well. It's about Ram fighting with Ravana, the one, you know, who's depicted with having 10 heads. So, and even yeah, these are all um... no, but they believed it to be true. That's why there's a whole book. It's not metaphorical. I mean, why have a yeah, book yeah, about metaphor? It, I mean, I mean, it... but and, they... and even now, sorry to interrupt, but even now, when you look at you know, the, the BJP government in India, the, the leader Modi, one of his points was, oh, he, he, the point that he made was about Ram and the coming of Ram. And they believe that Ram will come again as another avatar to bring peace. And if you're looking now at what these um, Hindutva are doing, they are killing and they are maiming people, vigilante, beef, whatever it is, in the name of their religion. The, yep. ni the 969 in Myanmar, the Buddhists, they did exactly the same thing. The Buddhists? Yeah, yeah, the Buddhists. Well, the thing is, look what the Muslims did when they went to no, but, India. No, no, no. no. I mean, Nalanda University Library, the biggest in the Middle Ages, you know, the biggest university library in the world. It took them eight days to burn it down in not this Buddhist Hindu university in North India, Nalanda. I mean, they had, because, I can't remember that, they said that there's no, there's, you know, the Quran's not here, it's worthless. No, you they, know, they didn't say the Quran's not here, Kenneth. You know, I mean, Kenneth, look. You know, knowledge is. Should be preserved. It should be preserved. It should be respected, of course. But we can't equate wars, books written on wars, with somebody burning down a library, Kenneth. I'm can't, I'm can't. Well, the, yeah. well, the, 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 well the, what the Muslims did in India is like what the Christians did in South America, you know, to the Aztecs. And it depends which Muslim ruler you're talking about. If you're talking about Aurangzeb. Yeah. Good, yeah. You get, you get yeah. Good bad. But look, look, I'm going to tell you something, Kenneth. If I was to stand here to defend Muslims, I would lose. <laughs> I would lose. Yeah. And I'm sure if you were to defend Hindus and Buddhists, the, the Eastern religions, you would lose, like I've given you examples. The only thing is that they didn't have, well, in the past, they didn't have, you know, like yeah. in Europe, the Thirty Years' War, the Crusades and, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I mean, even if we get into that Oppenheimer, the movie that everyone's raving just about. Sucks. You've seen it. You know what I mean? Well, look, the Jewish bomb, if you like. <laughs> I mean... Well, they were all mostly Jewish scientists working on it. Yeah, so when it comes to when it comes to that, we know that anyone following any religion will say, you know what, there's good people and there's bad people, yeah, people well, that understand that don't. The nature of human beings. Exactly. That's the point that I wanted to get across. So 
with me, Kenneth, I can't defend Muslims, and I'm sure you can't defend Eastern religion, somebody else can't defend Christians, but what I am, I am here to defend is Islam, is the doctrine of Islam, and that's, that's my point, that's what I'm kind of uh, promoting to you, that's what I'm kind of um, disseminating to you, not about Muslims, to be honest, I'm sure I could take you, you know, to Jordan and you'd find many people that love the art that you do and would appreciate it. However, if I was to take you to East London, no disrespect to the East Londoners, they would probably say, what's going on here? Why is my man sitting there with bare tiles in his hands? So not, not to generalize, I mean, I've got a lot of love for the East Londoners, but the point that I'm trying to say is it's, it's the same with the Christians. There are some Christians that I'm going to be honest, Speaker's Corner, I don't meet the best Christians. But I know, you know, generally speaking, we're told in the Quran that the Christians are the most closest to you. And generally speaking, when it comes to the LGBT phenomena and all of this sort of stuff, the Muslims and the that's Christians... That's not really Christian, though. All this gay and... Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They don't like it any more than you do. Yeah. I, I mean, it's... Well, it seems insane. You know? <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I, I agree with you, Kenneth. But one thing the Christians did... Yeah. ...is they abolished slavery. Well, the British... Did they though? Yeah, well, more than anybody else. More than the Muslims ever did. Okay, what if I told you that it's only been about four or five years that we have finished paying reparations to the slave owners. In fact, slavery wasn't what? abolished. You mean in the British? I know. Yeah. Yeah, but, slave, they, yeah. but uh, you know, they're, they're, no other cultures ever, you know, want even considered abolishing. Okay, what if I told you that in Islam, any excuse to freeing a slave, you can find copious evidence. Yes, I know that. Yes. What about the, uh, what they did to the Yazidis? You know, the Yazidis? Who's they? Huh? Who's they? The Yazidis, they live in Iraq. Yeah, but when you said when what they well, did to the Yazidis. ISIS and, 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 yeah, well, you know, they're, 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 they're not they, Kenneth, ISIS. Because, they, because, yeah, but they were, well, you know, extreme Muslims, if you like. But, but the thing is, look, when it comes to the, the um, actions of ISIS, they have not only been condemned, they have been mass condemned to such a degree that you can speak like studies have been done asking lay Muslims, what do you think about ISIS? They don't represent us. What they're doing is wrong. We condemn their actions. It's very obvious that the average layman does not equate their actions to that. For example, the 969 of the Buddhists. The Buddhists will not claim that the actions of the Buddhists? 969. What's the noise? That's, well, that's, that's my point. I mean, ISIS gets promoted by the media. 969, people don't know about the 969. Oh, Nine, right. Yeah, 969 is an extremist Buddhist. Um, well, you get all, re all religions. Well, that's, you get well, there you go, Kenneth. There right. you go. But the 969, people don't haven't even heard about them. The, the, the Kahanists of, of Israel. Have you heard about them? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Me Have you heard about them? Me no, he Mayor Kahan, yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, well, you're, you know, somebody of wise, you, you remind me of a saying of my teacher, right? Sometimes I get white hairs and he says, look, these white hairs didn't turn white in the sun. They, they turned white because of wisdom and age, experience. Age, yeah, yeah, experience. So, I mean, I can see, you know, I'm 77 years old, so. and a man of experience. That's so, why, uh, uh, you know. that's why we're having kind of an honest discussion that look, when a, when a point gets put forward, you're saying, you know what, and you've accepted, you know, there's zealots in, in each yeah, religion yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's the same unfortunately i'm sure you'll accept that when it comes to the propaganda machine and the the, the click rates the muslim extremists like georgia state university said muslims get four and a half times more exposure the muslim terrorists than say somebody else but our, since 9 11 73 percent of the attacks have been done by far right so the numbers like, like Jay Z well, said, Israel that did 9 11 anyway, I think. <laughs> More than likely. Well, yeah, now, you know, they're, 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 I mean, uh, wouldn't be surprising you know, like, they're, is they're, what you're saying, yeah. Because they wanted, well, or, or, or in the um, the government, in the, Biden's government, as I can't remember, he said Biden's got enough Jews in them to form a minion, which is a synagogue, you know, to, mm. in, in the government, you know. Um, there, that's what this stupid war in Ukraine. I you agree know, with you. You know, ho hopefully Russia's win, win because Putin is, you know, he's a reasonable man. I mean, 
you know, Orthodox Christianity definitely is. Well, he he he, he, he allows. Uh, well, they built a huge mosque in in Moscow. With respect for the Quran is and also commendable as well. Well, he's made it. He's going to make it illegal. Yeah, to yeah. Burn the Quran. Yeah, yeah. You know, because obviously people who do that, Pointless. you know, they do it to make you angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. For sure. And but but don't you find this interesting? That when the Bible gets burnt, people are like, man, it doesn't really matter. There's so many different versions of the Bible. Which version of the Bible are you actually burning? And is that the Bible that has this verse in it? Has that been taken out? With the Quran, I'm sure in your travels, you've realized there's one Quran that you'll find in any, any country that you've gone to. You can recite the Quran. No one's going to come and say, which version have you recited? Is this version that? Don't you find that fascinating in your, in your travels as well? No. Because they have this sort of oneness, you know, they want to make everything kind of... That's know. because one God, one book, <laughs> what about one the final Shia? message. Yeah, but look, Kenneth, even with the Shia, I think that's a, that's a good and honest question. With the Shias and the Sunnis, we believe there's one God, no difference of opinion. Yeah. We accept the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I know no. it was a succession. Um... Ah, but do you see though, it's the fundamentals, Kenneth, that are the same. You can explain monotheism to a seven-year-old, a six-year-old, to a 20, 30-year-old, to somebody in a village, to someone in a city. But Trinity is somebody you go to a vicar, you go to a priest. It's something that you cannot explain. And if this is something that's going to determine me going to heaven or hell, surely it should be something whose fundamentals are explainable. Wouldn't you agree? Well, the Trinity is not that difficult to explain. So you've got the Father, you've got the Son, you've got the Holy Spirit. These are three but they're actually one. So Jesus came. Well, because they <laughs> Come on, Kenneth. It's, um... You don't believe that, Kenneth. You don't, you don't, you don't believe that. I'll tell you why, because... Well, sim... uh, you know, it's beyond... No, Even Kenneth. Even the oneness of Allah is, 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 it's not... is beyond... Uh, you you speak... Look, they, they, it says... You don't believe that, Kenneth. I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. Look, you got a six-year-old child. You, there's one God. How many gods are there? Yeah, one mean... God. Okay. You, you speak to another six-year-old child. Okay, there's the Father, there's the Son, there's the Holy Spirit, but, but they're one. But when Jesus died, a God died, but God didn't really die. He prayed to God, Elo, Elo, Aleva, Sabachthani. Well, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? But he's praying to himself because he's God. God's dying because he's put original sin. But so he has to do a blood sacrifice, but this is a sacrifice that... Kenneth, come on. Doesn't yeah, but look, oh, oh, the sort of... The religions that still exist today. Talk about Islam. Well, Islam. Yeah, go on. You know, they produce beautiful. Well, as Putin, he talks about Russia as a civilizational state. Yeah. You know, not before they were communists trying to spread it all over the world. You know, they've, it's become the complete reversal of, you know, when the Cold War before, when the, you know, the, the Americans have become evil. And the, and the Russians are fighting for, you know, civilizational values. Because if they win in Ukraine and the Americans, you'll have all their LBGTs, you know, all that nonsense there as well, for sure. But being somebody that acknowledges that there is a God, you know the importance and the need for morality. And morality only comes from well, yeah, religion, yeah, yeah, objective yeah, morality. Yeah, yeah, that's why, uh, you know, religions, there's uh, bad sides of religion, but they have a good side in that they, they, they um, well, they believe in like no theft, murder or, or adultery, you know, which is, you've got to have the, for, for civilization too, because otherwise, you know, men will be trying to steal another guy's wife or whatever, you know, like, so but, you have but to I would have argue, those things. But I would argue in Christianity, the principles are more vague. They, they're very much open to interpretation. Other than the Ten Commandments, things are very open. Things are very kind of, mm, could it be this way? Could it be that way? But I mean, it's sort of theology, you know, the sort of... Is he your friend? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll think about it anyway. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, it's really nice kind of speaking to you and hopefully we, we speak again. And uh, yeah, it was really interesting hearing about your travels and and going back and forth and i'm here every sunday if you want to come yeah i'll come here yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. kenneth nice to meet you yeah take care